Hey everyone, it's Game Fruit Pulp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we'll be looking at our Belcapi Creative Minecraft server and the amazing mountain city that is formed in the Mirror Rock region. If you were impressed with the progress in the last video, you will be blown away with what has been built now. If you enjoy the video and are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Before jumping into a deep dive into all the amazing additions that have been made to Mirror Rock, let me first take a minute to explain Belcapi to those who may not be familiar with what the server is. Belcapi is a creative city building server that features a custom built map and helpful plugins like WorldEdit. Belcapi features six distinct regions with different lore associated with each of them. To join Belcapi, players need to do a quick application to weed out bad actors and ensure the best playing experience for everyone possible. We launched this server a couple of months ago and a majority of our map regions are still untouched and waiting to be developed, so there's a great opportunity to join and make our map an incredible empire. If you're interested in that, you can find a link to the application in the description of the video. Looking now at Mirror Rock, we can see that it has grown by two or three times since our last visit to the area. The mountainside continues to get filled up with colorful houses and shops, and we also see the addition of a church that blends well into the mountainside of the area. The city of Mirror Rock is built and mostly planned by Lord Jinwa, but we have recently had an additional builder join, switching over from a different area on the map. One of the things that I really like about the planning of Mirror Rock is that a majority of the landmarks are loosely created based on real world buildings. When looking at the church, we can see inspiration taken from Martyr Shrine in Midland, Ontario. Moving down the mountainside, we also see the start of some sort of tower complex with a really cool lecture hall in the basement level. I'm looking forward to seeing how that will turn out. Earlier in the video, I said that Mirror Rock has grown by two or three times since our last visit. And while that may be true by looking at the outside of the city, it has grown by much, much more when we look at the secrets that lay underground. This is particularly exciting to me because of the lore that was created for Mirror Rock and followed so well by the builders here. The Mirror Rock lore was, although these lands were uninhabited upon a settler's arrival, it appears that at some point in the distant past, these mountains were once occupied by a small civilization. These people appeared to carve out the mountains and develop an underground infrastructure. Although almost all of the people's buildings are now gone, those who settled in the area pay homage to the lost civilization by also building infrastructure tied deeply into the mountains. The underground area of Mirror Rock is starting to rapidly expand, starting with the beginnings of a bus station at the waterside's edge of the main road. This bus station connects to a vast tunnel network with what looks to be the start of a shopping mall with places to shop and places to sit and hang out. We, as we follow the tunnels that are currently in progress, we are met by a huge, vast, open space and road networks that begin to show us some of what the future plans for Mirror Rock are. From this vast open space, we can make our way into the complex underground highway network, where we see the industry of the city and how the food to sustain themselves uh, would exist if this was a real place. I was really surprised by the level of thought and planning that went into this underground network, and I think that this addition is a really cool touch that brings Mirror Rock to life. The extensive underground highway network includes illuminated traffic lights, a vast parking garage, bus stops, and a gas station, all adding to the realism of the area. There's additionally a vast farming area that includes machinery showing how the food would get harvested and sent off to trucks waiting for the product to be delivered to them. As we come out onto the other side of the tunnel, we can see the rough wall work has already started for the opposite side of the mountain, and I'm sure that our next update will have more to showcase here. That's going to be pretty much it for this video. I plan on doing these about once a month to showcase any progress that's been made on the Belcapi server. I chose to focus only on Mirror Rock this time around, but there's been also some great progress in Posani that I'll showcase the next time we do one of these videos. I'd love to have more builders on this server, so if you are interested, please check out the uh, application in the description of the video. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer and you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and share the channel with your friends so that we can continue to grow our community. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed the video. This has been a Minecraft Bell Cappy video. My name is Gamefruit Pulp, and I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one.